hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a video that i thought i would never make in my lifetime england have reached the final of a major competition since 1966 but anyway guys a lot to talk about i've got a lot to say as well so guys let's get straight down to this video you guys you know what to do give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so I will cover a bit of the Italians now, just while I remember, but my congratulations goes out to obviously Gareth, the England boys, the coaching staff, done a fantastic job and left us on the edge of our seats when we went 1-0 down last night as well. But anyway, I'll just mention the Italians quickly. Okay, so we got it at the end of the final. We've done a brilliant job. You know, I ain't got to take nothing away from it. Uh, 30 odd games unbeaten so we really are going up against it in the final in just a few days time I'm still buzzing from last night's result you know as I said we did go 1-0 down uh, early on but we didn't give up Raheem Sterling put us back into the game you know with a pretty okay uh, great cross by Harry Kane but you know just a tap in but I don't know I'll count but I'm just over the moon it, this is a day after of the night before I'm still buzzing I'll probably be buzzing all the way through till Sunday and even though yes my club did get promoted to the Premier League I think this buzz is going to last for me for quite a while because as I said I don't think I would ever see England in the final of Euro 2020, uh, or in any final really, no disrespect to the team or the young boys, or but you know, we got every year closer and closer and just missed out. But yeah, I will go and watch this final for definitely. I really am looking forward to it. I'm just over the moon with England, Gareth, the boys, everyone involved at the club the fans you know backing them i've backed them along along the way as well um obviously i've got my prediction to come up for the final all in this video as well so but i'm just so over the moon with england and the team and the boys and you can't ask for nothing more obviously i'd love to go on and win it on sunday and hopefully we do but if not i'm so happy that, that i'm going to see my country playing the final but I thought it was never really going to happen. You are talk, you know, I'm in my mid-twenties just about. Um, we've had so much disappointment over the years. Obviously, for the younger generation, or the next generation after me, obviously this can all be new, and, you know, they, I never know the heartache of, you know, missing out on finals, but we've done it this time round. I am going to do my prediction now so I can talk a bit more about England and how I'm feeling but you know I'm I'm going to give it a 2-1 England win I still think I don't know why but I think England will win it fingers crossed and touching wood which I've got here um but yeah so I'm going to go for a 2-1 England win and now we go back over to England um and just talk about a bit more about England in general and um, my earliest memories was, I think it's the 2002 World Cup, uh, where Brazil had the likes of Roberto Carlos and, you know, such a great team. One of Dino springs to mind when you mentioned Brazil back there. Well, there's so many great players, um, but as I said, you know, we've had so much heartache between my earliest memory till now. Um, but I'm just so, so proud of the England team and the board. You know, I'm hoping Gareth can go on and win it. But as I said, if we don't, I'm still more than likely going to be happy because I never thought I'd see England play in a final of a major competition. And something else to put on this video is the fact of this is the first ever final for England in the Euros. Our only final was obviously back in 1966 and that was in a World Cup. You know, so our first ever Euro um, final as well. So that's something else to go in the, you know, uh, in the books. But it's just such a great, um, you know, memory. Um, I'm going to remember this for my lifetime. 
you know, no matter what happens, as I said on Sunday, but I'm gonna, I'm still gonna remember this. Um, obviously, the Premier League's not far away either, uh, and ahead of that, my flocks are coming back. But I'm gonna clap every England player in that squad when they come to the MX Stadium, or if I go away as well. If I do go away to some grounds, obviously I'll clap them there as well. But you know, I'm just so so proud of England, of Gareth, of the coaching staff. The way he's played this competition, Gareth Southgate, it really is something special. I think for the first time last night we played a certain tactic that we've had, you know, played in this competition previously. But we played every game differently from, you know, from every game. Uh, at one point last night, 1-1 one, one draw, it still was. I was calling maybe Jaden Sancho to come on. I didn't make an appearance. But anyway, still really really good football from you know the England boys Jack Greenish was a bit of a weird substitution coming on then coming off I'm not sure quite what happened behind that a lot of people were saying it might be tactical and bringing Kieran Trippio on but you know we just, this, me, me and my mates were discussing this the other night um, you know, if you look at the England squad in this Euro 2020, right, if you, yeah, if you look at this England squad in Euro 2020, you've got one or two, maybe three Chelsea players, I think, I think it's three Chelsea players, two United, you know, it looks like this team with England have actually played together before. But the head of the final, I'm going to be nervous, I ain't going to lie, I am going to be nervous. I ain't quite there yet because we're still a few days away from it. I am still will enjoy the hype and the buzz of that England are in the final. It's going to be interesting. But as I said, no matter what happens on Saturday, I'm still I'm going to be so, so proud of them boys. Purely because it's the first time I've seen England play in the final. And as I mentioned previously in this video... We've suffered a lot of heartache um, with England over the past uh, 20 odd years. You know, it's one of them things where you go to a tournament and you sort of suffer the disappointment before the competition really begins, if you know what I mean. If you've been there, you've been there. If you haven't, you haven't. But, you know, it's just one of them things we got to experience as... A generation before these the uh, next lot of generation came along the next lot of generations of you know fans and players and all the stuff like have really got a bright future ahead of them and um, hopefully not so much heartache that we've suffered in my generation or the generation before but it's just gonna be a really interesting game hopefully you know it goes in our favor I still ain't got to say them words, by the way. But if not, I'm going to be proud of them boys, no matter what. So I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. You're a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.